Our theme this year, as you know by now, is vocations, the call to serve. Gochum Zarayutyan Gancha. For the church to continue her mission, it is vital to have priests, pastors, and we all know this. Before his ascension to the heavens, Christ gave the following commission to his apostles. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Based on this commission, we know from the Acts of the Apostles and the Apostolic Letters that the Apostles went to different parts of the world and accomplish their mission. They made disciples of the people from different nations. They baptized them and taught them what they learned from Christ, thus establishing Christian communities, that is churches, in different regions, cities, and towns in order to secure Christ's presence in the life of the people. In his letter, St. Paul to Titus also writes, he says, I left you behind in Crete for this reason, so that you should put in order what remained to be done, and you should appoint elders, that is, ordain priests, in every town as I directed you. In order to accomplish this mission, it is my responsibility, it is your responsibility, our responsibility to secure the spiritual leadership that is pastors in every church, in every community. In order to have a full and vital parish, it is imperative to have pastoral leadership. The fact is that we do not have enough priests, pastors in our diocese. This has been a major challenge in our diocese for many years. We all recognize the importance of the pastor when he visits hospitals, comforts people, gives advice and counsel to the parishioners in difficulty, baptizes a newborn child inviting the child to be part of the rich Christian heritage of the Armenian people and make sure that the child grows up in the church or when preparing a couple for the sacrament of marriage and blessing a home. As you know, the role of the priest is not just about Sunday's Badarak. Without pastoral leadership, who is going to keep the community together? Who is going to pass the rich Christian tradition and heritage of the Armenian people to the new generation? Why aren't people becoming priests? Why aren't people becoming priests? Why your sons, your grandsons, your cousins, your relatives are not becoming priests. I was not very different from many young men I speak with today. But what truly made the difference for me is that I was blessed to have people who encouraged me to answer this call. It was not always easy for them to do so. When in 1967, I approached my father with the news that a priest from the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem, their Garabed, was looking for seminarians to go to the Armenian Patriarchate in Jerusalem. And I wanted to be one of them. 
My father told me that it would be difficult to send his son so far away. But then he said, if this is your desire, then I will not stop you. I will not discourage you or stand in your way because I trust you. Well, I am blessed to have such a father. And today, 37, 38 years later, after I and I see my brother in Christ, we can Bazan, we were ordained together, accepted the vows of the holy ordination, I am deeply, deeply grateful to God for calling me. For it has been a fulfilling life. I love our people. And I love sharing their joys. I love being among young and old, praying together, learning from each other. It is a privilege to be a pastor to whom people turn in times of difficulty, when they need comfort in times of sickness or pain. And it is a blessing to witness how the presence of prayer and the church can strengthen people and change their life. It's a joy for me to bless the union of two people in marriage, to baptize a child who has just entered this world, and to celebrate Padarak every Sunday, each Sunday in a different parish. Believe me, when I say there are moments when I feel I am truly in heaven. I remember when I was in Jerusalem at the Armenian Patriarchate at the seminary, one of our teachers, Mr. Ara Kalajian, who lives now in Boston, he asked us to write about why we wanted to become priests. And I remember I wrote, I want to be a priest, an Armenian priest, because for me it is the best way to serve and lead the Armenian people. Being an Armenian priest is more than simply being a priest of a church. From our history, from the Armenian church history, we know that from the moment of the establishment of the Armenian church, our priests have been leaders of our people. I will just mention two, three names. Mesrop Mashtots, Revont Yeretz, Hrimian Hayrik, and many, many others. For me, I can only say that it is an honor to serve the Armenian Church, to serve you, and in doing so, to serve God. I believe that this is a vocation worthy of the devotion and dedication of our best, most talented and finest young men. My request from each one of you is you, you encourage and inspire our young men to embrace priesthood. It is the calling of every one of us to secure the continuation of the mission of the Holy Priesthood in every generation. May our risen Lord continue to bless our people and guide us along every path. And thank you. <laughs>